Let's make the vertical herringbone stitch pattern. Today I'm going to show you how to make this herringbone pattern, which is nice and flexible. It's thin, unlike the other herringbone stitch pattern you've seen on this channel. It's not quite as thick. It has a beautiful reverse side to it. In fact, it just it would make a really cool feature uh, even to flip it to the front, but this is the right side and it's got a vertical herringbone. The other one you've seen uh, is like a side to side and it really double knits every stitch for something really thick, but this one's nice and flexible. So if you've liked the herringbone stitch before, but thought it was too thick or ate too much yarn, this is the stitch for you. Join me today on Good Knit Kisses for the stitch pattern and bonus pattern for cowl. See you soon. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. Written instructions and details, click down below in our video description for the link to our free blog, or you can get a PDF that's ad-free and the links are there. We also have a right and left-handed video tutorial in those links down below, so click on that. And I'm just gonna go over the basics of the yarn. You can get whatever yarn and needles you like. Just make sure they're appropriate to each other. This is a US 10 needle. Uh, Knitter's Pride Carbons. The link will be in um, our blog. And then I'm using a bulky five weight yarn. We're going to dive right into this pattern, grab your things, and we'll begin. We're going to begin with a cast on multiple of three plus one. I have casted on with 34 stitches to get this, and it is six inches wide. So if you want to make our cowl or scarf pattern, uh, which we will have linked in the video description down below, um, you can cast on and get it to this size. And uh, this is the edge down here, the beginning. Uh, I want to show you the pattern repeat after it's already been repeated, but this is how you would begin. So cast on 34 stitches and then make a foundation row of purl and that will be on your wrong side, your foundation, and then you'll have it looking like this. Now my cast on was a long tail cast on. Okay, so you can see uh, how nice that looks, almost like a stocking net here. It will roll a little bit, but then when I, I mean, and it really just stops rolling, but then once I'm done and complete with this one, I can bind off, and we'll go over this uh, in the end, but you can bind off and then graft or seam this together um, just like you would for a stocking net. So you can begin with a foundation row of knit if you like. I did a foundation of pearl to get this nice smooth look. All right, so let's begin. So pause your video if you need to go ahead and cast on, and we're gonna start our stitch pattern. Always begin with a knit one on row one, and then we're going to yarn over, and then slip one purl wise. All of our slips in here are always purl wise. You just slide it over, and then we're going to knit two. So knit one and two. Then we're going to take our slip stitch, let's pull it out right here, and we're going to pass that slip stitch over two stitches. So pull it down, pass it over. You should have your yarn over here, which makes a stitch, and then we have our two knit stitches with the passed uh, slip stitch over those two stitches. And then we're going to continue repeating. So the knit one stays alone by itself and go all the way to the end to repeat. So let's do it again. Yarn over. Slip one purl wise, knit two, pass the slip stitch over. So grab this one and pass it over the two, and you're done. You're going to continue repeating that. So yarn over, slip that stitch. So if you find that you've gone to the end and you're off, um, you you don't have three stitches remaining in the end to complete this pattern. You may have forgotten to slip a stitch first uh, and then done your two knits, um, or maybe you forgot a yarn over and you may have to go backwards. Uh, so I'm gonna show you after this one, I'm gonna go backwards and show you how to undo the stitches. So see how this one's loose here? That's because on the row before, we have another yarn over. This pattern is repeated basically the same, but pearls on the back. So go ahead and knit this, knit the next one, we're going to pass this slip stitch over like that. What happens if I mess up, Kristen? All right, here we go. So we're going to undo. We're going to tink, which is knit backwards. We're going to pick up this slip stitch here, and we're going to pass it back over those two stitches. Okay, then we're going to stick our needle in below that stitch and undo, unknit. Okay, we're going to do it twice and unknit that, and then we have our slipped 
stitch here, we push back over, and then we can come back to this area here and undo it back to the point we need to. Hopefully you don't need to, but I want you to know how to fix things. So go ahead and we're gonna move forward again. Yarn over, slip one, knit one, knit two, pass the slip stitch over, continue. Yarn over, slip one, knit two, slip, uh, pass the slip stitch over, PSSO. Yarn over, slip one, knit two, pass the slip stitch over. Hope you can see my ball of yarn. It's the Burnett Maker Home Deck. It makes a fantastic scarf. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna continue on, uh, go to the end, last three stitches, I'll show you, and we'll turn and do the second row. All right, we are at the last three stitches here, and we're going to yarn over, slip one, knit two, and pass the slip stitch over, and turn a work. Now we're on the wrong side, and it's just as beautiful. I think it has kind of this waffly uh, vertical honeycomb. It's really pretty. All right, we're going to um, purl this row. So put your yarn in front, purl one. It always begins with that plus one. If you did this in the round, you would just eliminate that extra stitch. So it's just a multiple of three and you wouldn't do that very first stitch like that. All right, so we're going to um, yarn over and on a purl row yarning over, you begin with your yarn in front, go all the way around the needle and come to the front again, then slip purl wise, then knit two, or I'm sorry, then purl two, one, two, and then we need to pass the slip stitch over. It's not sticking out as much. What you tend to see is the yarn over sticking out. Okay, so you're gonna pull this one here, lift up and over, and now we're over those two. We're gonna continue with the yarn over. So go all the way around and back to the front, slip one, purl wise, purl two, and then pass the slip stitch over. Repeat, yarn over, slip one purl wise, purl two, and pass the slip stitch over. Okay, it's that simple. Sometimes I overlap mine, it's that simple. You just continue down to the end of the row. You should have three stitches down at the end and then you turn it over and repeat your rows one through two. So you continue on until you get to your desired length and bind off knit wise. So we're gonna bind off, um, you don't need to do it super loose, just normal. And this is what your edge will look like when you're binding off. So you're just simply knitting those stitches together, well, knitting one and then um, binding one over the top just as you normally would bind off. So you knit one and move the next over. So if you need a binding off video, I do have those. Uh, links are down below and on my channel. And just continue until you get to the end. And then you're going to um, take your tail, pull it through and weave it in, or you can use it to sew together your ends to make a cowl or whatever you like. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me again. Be sure to get that video for the cowl pattern and more down at the link in the video description below and check out our other videos. So I hope you, hope you have a great day, a happy knitting and crochet. Bye everyone. Thanks for joining us today where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.